So you'll have this example here. x squared minus 4x plus 4. So it's greater than 0. Do we expect union? <clears throat> Let's start. So x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. Still going to use AC way here. Okay, so AC is 1 times 4. You'll get 4. Factors of 4 which will result to negative 4 when added. You'll have negative 2 and negative 2. Right? So how many roots do we have here? How many roots? Two, sir. Huh? Two roots. Okay, we have two roots. The first one is two. The other is also two. Okay, dua sila, but they are just the same. The difference actually is here. However, if we're going to plot this on a real number line, if we're going to plot two, we cannot also add another two there. So what does it mean? Earlier, we have two roots which are not equal, not the same. We expect three regions. Here, we also have three regions. In our examples last time, we also have three regions. And we even memorized the result of the signs for step D, which is plus minus plus. Only the decision-making will be changed and the answers later. If we're going to divide this, this is the reason why I also purposely added this as an example. My point here is there's also a time where we have two regions. So if we have this, dua lang itong region, in short, <clears throat> dua lang po na itong test value niya, pero kung sa akin na wong sa atong answer, because we already agreed earlier here, kung greater than, we expect union. Di ba? Now, this usually happens, uh, three, three, here, two regions lang. This usually happens if your given is a perfect square trinomial. And your given is a perfect, your given expression is a perfect square trinomial. Hence, you expect only one, uh, one root that can be used to divide the real number line. In short, you have two regions. This is also being supported by this concept. The concept of discriminant, diba? If we are going to solve, that's b squared minus 4ac. b here is negative 4. So you square that minus 4 times a, which is 1. And then you have here another 4. So negative 4 squared is 16. Minus 4 times 1 times 4, which is also 16. So you will get 0. And what does it tell us if zero ang atong discriminant? Two real and equal roots. So from the name itself, two real and equal is not a good check book. Okay? So if the discriminant is greater than zero, we have two real and unequal roots, meaning we have two solutions. If you have equal to zero, it's uh, two real and equal roots, one solution now. If it's less than zero, Two imaginary roots or no solution. By this, again, the point here is whenever you have whenever you have a perfect square trinomial as given for your uh, quadratic inequality, you expect the regions lang. Okay, that's the thing I also would like to add. If we are to continue, you only have A, region A and region B here. So you just be picking test values. Another change will be here because there might be a unique concept here. So get out. Give me one test value on uh, the one, the first region. You could use zero. Uh, you could use one. Let's just use zero. How about for the second? Uh, you could use three. So yeah. If we are going to substitute zero here, what's the answer? Okay, substitute zero. So four. What's the sign? Positive. Okay. How about three? 
Okay, we're going to substitute the 3 here. So 3, like it's tama to, 9 minus 12, 4. Positive. So what would be our decision making? Greater than 0 man siya. <clears throat> True. True. And <clears throat> we cannot say all real numbers. After all, we are expecting to have union already. In here, our answer here, or regions, are actually these two regions here. Except for two nga divider. So our solution set, x such that x is less than, ah uh, yeah, two. x such that x is greater than, na, ah, two diapon. Na, two diapon siya. Okay? So, so what is the interval notation? Negative infinity. Until, until, two. Ayan ha. It looks like that. Okay? So, the difference here is we only have two regions. But the answer is still the same. Now, I believe some of you are asking, less than, ah, that is that, greater than that, greater than or equal to zero. But, since we have equality here, it now includes two. So what happens here for your solution set? You could just say this. <clears throat> All real numbers. Yeah. All real numbers. Because it will now extend all until towards negative infinity and all towards until positive infinity, which it also includes two. And this one here could also be all real numbers or you could just simply say negative infinity until positive infinity what if look plus for less than zero the answer is ah no solutions no solutions Anyway, that ends our concern.